morning everybody yeah it is time to get the next BTS vlog started so we're going to do that uh, when uh, <laughs> things get rather complicated and difficult uh, sometimes the best thing to do is simply to go to bed and uh, uh, come back at it the next day with a fresh point of view and that's certainly what happens a lot, a lot of times when uh, uh, things do go wrong. Uh, it's time to sort of, you know, uh, to, uh, how should I put this, uh, take a, a, a second view at things uh, to sort of give yourself a, a fresh point of view. And that, ha that happens, uh, that happens as uh, these things go on. So, uh where is it? where am I? At? So let me give you the time, date and timestamp. It is uh, now. It is uh, four hours into the day of Wednesday, March fifth, uh, two thousand and five. Uh, I can't believe it's already Wednesday. Uh, that's gotta give you an idea of how off my time is here. Yeah. Cause oh, I thought it was March four. Well, anyways. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I missed all of Tuesday. I don't know what happened to Tuesday, but uh, uh, it's now Wednesday. And uh, so we're going to do the vlog from the 4th to the 6th. And <laughs> Apparently, I've missed a day or so. My days are off. I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> so, uh... As I said, I was working on electronics bench, looking, working on the project of electronic, on, on the electronics bench. That's basically uh, the refurbishing of one of the servers there. But it turns out that the server isn't as good as I thought it would. I can't put it back on the line again without significant uh, amount of work. So that means all the work that I did on it, tested out, did all that testing, which was about uh, 10 hours worth of testing, to see whether or not I could get it back on the line again, didn't work out, so that means I have to go through another line of testing again with another system, that's what I'm doing now, uh, to uh, to sort of uh, put that system on there. It looks like the system's going to work all right, but the old system doesn't isn't going to go to waste. It's not going to go, it gives me a new opportunity now to get into some of the more, uh, uh, to sort of peek under the hood uh, of Linux a little bit more and sort of fiddle around with Linux and sort of really understand how the underneath the command line prompts, how you can figure things at the command line. It's great when something works up front with the graphic and you don't, you know, it's no fuss, no much, you just press the button and it works. But more often than not, if you're doing the type of work that I'm doing, if you're doing a lot of the design work and you're doing a lot of the development work, you have to have, you have to know how, how these buttons work. Because if something does go wrong, you have to lift up beneath the uh, the, the the fancy service the surface and go into the service area and fix what's wrong. And if you don't understand how that button works, you're never going to be able to fix what's wrong. And so the what's going to happen is the system that was uh, on the main line now is going to go back to the is, 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 is instead of being junked, it's going to go on to a test bench. Where I'm gonna be able to play with all the underneath of uh, all the underneath part of uh, Linux, and see how the command line connects to the graphical user interface, uh, uh, and uh, take it from that perspective there. So that's what's gonna go on the electronics bench now. 
I still do have another project that will be going on to the electronics bench uh, sometime this week or next week. Uh, it really depends on my scheduling and how I'm able to schedule this project in. Again, this is the whole problem here is that you do there is a, there is an issue with scheduling. There is an issue with you know trying to get things done properly uh, in terms of how uh, things are actually going to work out. But uh, that being said, once you've got the, uh, the the scheduling sort of done all right, and this is sort of the problem is I started talking about the scheduling on the twenty uh, seventh and twenty eighth, uh, scheduling new projects in. But the actual scheduling, getting it working on a on a regular basis, didn't really take hold until uh, Monday. So it really was a uh, a. Uh, it really, well, not it was, but it is a task sort of to get a schedule working properly and making sure that the schedule goes according to what you need it to be doing. I mean, because that doesn't occur. If you don't, if your schedule doesn't work according to what you need it to work with, uh, then what happens is you're going to fall further and further behind. And yesterday was somewhat of a fail because, we, we, because although I had, I had set out a, 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 you know, a first chunk of things to get done on, uh, yesterday, but... What happens is when the, the systems weren't working properly, and the biggest issue that, that I had yesterday was the internet was really behaving really buggy. Uh, that means there was, there's a lot of, uh, sometimes the ISPs themselves have a lot of problems. Uh, Google was up and down all over the place. It wasn't uh, uh, operating properly yesterday. So it took me, uh, it took me four hours to upload the video yesterday. When it should have only taken two hours to upload the video. But, but you know, so when when you see the day is getting really bad like that, the day is what you do is simply I called the day, called it early. Uh, I was still feeling rather knocked out, so I went to bed. And here we are again at four o'clock in the morning, starting all over again. And there's a lot of configure, configuring work to be done. There's a lot of config, uh, configuration has to be done. Uh, there are some problems I see with, with this system back here that ha it has problems. So, uh, uh, this is kind of the way things go. You have to work with the regular stuff, and then you also have to do some of the stuff that's, uh, uh, that's sort of unplanned for, you know. And it's you really, more often than not, it's the unplanned for stuff, the you know, unplanned for events, that really knocks your schedule off. And, but the thing is, that's the reality. Is you can't plan. You, you, you can't plan for all events, all eventual and all eventualities. And the thing is, you can barely plan for all events. Uh, more often than not, it's you, you're you're going into a situation where, uh, <laughs> uh, put it mildly, you're uh, sort of just uh, biding your time until the next until the next situation pops up. I mean, you, you get, your schedule only reflects, in terms of reality, it reflects maybe 20% of what's actually going to happen during the day. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Our time is up. I will talk to you in the next segment. That will be the second segment for the BTS vlog. And this BTS vlog is for the 4th uh, to the 6th. We're going to try that. That's an approximate date frame. Because uh, this is for yesterday, which is the 4th. And... Uh, Alrighty, I will see you in the next segment. Well, once again, we're in a situation where I don't know what segment this is in the vlog. Uh, it was a very long day yesterday. Uh, I got a lot of work done. But the issue that sort of popped up and sort of keeps popping up has to do with uh, the, uh, um, what you call it, the, uh, uh, when you're working on the systems and you take your notes down, uh, one, you lose your, your point of reference if you are in the situation where I am, where I, I do have that sleep deprivation issue. But the other issue that pops up is, uh, Again, with the sort of the fatigue at the end of the day, when you're too tired to vlog, uh, what, uh, where you are in a sequence of things, is not necessarily uh, understood. Because, in many cases, 
when you're running down a problem, you're not aware of where you are in a particular sequence. You're just trying to get to a solution. And what happens is that the focus is so intense that you sort of forget where you were before because the details of where you were where you were before are, are important. So what happens is that uh, it's the it's the how is something working now? So you've tried other combinations of of uh, solutions. They didn't work, so you're now on to the next solution uh, or that you're trying. And again, this is the, the, a large chunk of resolving problems on the bench, doing repairs, doing upgrades and stuff like that. A large chunk of it is, just as I state, it's, it is a uh, trial, by, trial, trial and error method. It's not uh, laid out for you. And you don't know whether something's going to work or not. So let's give you the time and date stamp anyways. Uh, let's see here. It is six hours and six minutes into the day of Thursday, March uh, 6, 2014. I know we started this on the 4th, or we're supposed to start this on the 4th, but I ended up starting it on the 5th. So I did one yesterday, and I'm doing one now. So it's either two or three, because I didn't, one, I didn't do one uh, at the end of the day yesterday, so... And I think this is segment number two. Let's go with go with it that way. You know, <laughs> if you can't figure it out, if you can't remember it, try to figure it out. So we are we are at least on two, if not three. Uh, so uh, the next bit is sort of uh, uh, oh, this is the, the, the time that, uh, this has to do with the uh, music studio. Uh, I've been able to do a lot of practicing with the music studio, so that's doing well. Uh, the end result of the work on the electronics bench resulted in me upgrading a lot of the systems here to uh, the next version of uh, Ubuntu or Kubuntu. Uh, Kubuntu is the uh, KDE version of Ubuntu, so I'm on Kubuntu, but the the underlying Linux is Ubuntu, so. Uh, most of my systems have been on either 12.4 or 12.10. I've now moved everything up to, everything except for one system now is up to, uh, uh, 12, uh, 13.10. Uh, no, there's two systems that aren't, th aren't on 13.10. Uh, the reason why I'm not moving up to 13.10 just yet for everything uh, is there is an issue with K uh, Kaden Live. Uh, that's my movie editor. Uh, there are issues with uh, uh, video editing on 3.10 that haven't fully been resolved yet. A large, large chunk of it is coming along, but there are still issues, so I'm leaving the editing bays and where I do my editing. I'm leaving that at three, uh, at 13.4, which is supported. It's, it's fine with Caden Alive. I'm leaving it there and uh, uh, until I see that the path is clear to move up to 3.10. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of, that's kind of what you have to do. You have to sort of play things by ear, uh, watch to see what support and what issues are popping up with the uh, with the uh, with the Linux packages. Uh, most people tell you not to run in an entirely Linux environment, particularly uh, with uh, Ubuntu or other packages like that, because they're not designed for the production environment. So they say. That, this is what the reviews are saying. However, I am running in, in Linux in a production environment. I am producing the videos on it. It's my main, it's not my main system. It's my only operating system here. I've moved completely off of Windows into uh, uh, into the Linux environment. There is no other operating system running here. Uh, and all my systems are refurbished. And, that, 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 and this is what Ubuntu has allowed me to do. Ubuntu has allowed me to cut my... Uh, my equipment costs by using refurbished equipment, which is which is basically one fifth to one tenth the cost of uh, of buying a new system. So uh, it is by far the best choice for myself in terms of running a freaking environment. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I find if I'm running a version behind, so when three like what's coming out now in April is going to be 14.4. 
as long as I'm running a version behind, so at 14.4, that's when I move up to 13.10. Doing it that way, there's enough of the bugs that have been worked out of the system that there isn't a problem running in a production environment. You, you do have a stability at 13.10 when 14.4 14 is out uh, that you didn't have if you were right at the cusp, if you, you, if you were installing 13.10 and in, in October, it goes by the month basically. Four is April, right? That's the fourth month is April. Tenth month is October. So basically, every April in, in October, uh, you have a version upgrade. And so it's either gonna it's gonna be the year. So last year at, uh, at October, last October was October uh, 2013. So it's 1310. Uh, the one coming up now is in 2014, and it's in April. So it's 14.4. Uh, if you're up, if you're upgrading to fourteen four on the uh, in in April, if you immediately upgrade, you're going to run into a lot of issues. But if you wait a bit, then the issues really, really seem to resolve themselves. You and you end up getting a much better product uh, in, in, that you can work with as compared to if you had gone uh, initially just with what you uh, you know with the upfront thing. And but it, it 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 is a bit of a challenge. I am doing some work. To try to you know make this thing a, a better a, a better uh, option for production environment, uh, and I'm getting there bit by bit. Anyways, our time is up. I will talk to you in a bit to let you know what's going on for the rest of the day. Uh, how things are going to shape out for uh, the next series of the next vlog. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs>buddy yeah when things become a mess I usually I used to stop vlogging <laughs> and things have become somewhat of a mess again uh, a large chunk of it has to do with the fact that uh, the electronics bench is taking up an enormous amount of time the product on there uh, refurbishing one of the servers is taking an enormous amount of time and attention but uh, things are being adjusted and we are still vlogging. At least I'm, not, I'm, I'm not doing the two vlogs a day that I'm supposed to be doing. You know, one in the morning, one in the evening. But I am doing the one vlog during the day. You know, at the beginning of the day. Right here, right now. That's sort of, this has kind of uh, helped things along a little bit. So, uh, let's give you the time and date stamp. It is uh, 5 hours and 25 minutes into the day of Friday, March 7th, 2014. Uh, I'm not too sure what vlog this is in terms of the series, uh, 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 in terms of, uh, I think it would either be third, third or fourth. Uh, I'm going to have to sort of pull everything together and sort of see where we are. And that will sort of give me a determination whether we're, whether this is the last one or I'm going to have to do one more tonight maybe. Well, you know, we'll see where we are. We'll see what we have. Uh. And things should be getting back to normal because the upgrades are more or less done. And the thing is, I upgraded, I not only upgraded the server, I upgraded the entire network. So this is, the whole week has been um, more or less working on the network, bringing things uh, up to a better standard, uh, fixing uh, leaks up. Leaks are basically holes that hackers can get into and create messes on. Uh, normally, my systems are, are such that, you know, a hacker can get in and not do too much damage and the, the, the damage will be limited. But things do have to be cleaned up, uh, reorganized. It, 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 what, when you start, when you're getting to one level and you move on to the next level, right, you, you're finishing one level, you're moving on to the next level. One of the things is when, you have, when you're moving to the next level, and this is even with gaming, you have to sort of fit, you have to clean up what you've done before. So you move on to the next level, but you can't just sort of leave what you did behind. You have to clean that up because at some point in time, you're going to have to use that space. So you can't leave what you did before, even though it's finished and, and you're more or less successful with it. You can't sort of just leave it there. You have to sort of uh, clean it up and begin as you move into the next level. The first few bits of, of moving into the next level is uh, dismantling what you did in the, uh, in the first level, uh, in the level before, uh, because 
you know you're going to need that space again. And that's what happens here is that, is that we are either in a position of we're, we're, we're making something or recreating a, a space or we're dismantling a space. And that's kind of where, that's what kind of what's happening here is that uh, uh, it's, 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 we're one, we're in, typically on a daily basis, we're in one state or another, so, uh, <laughs> uh, that causes a large chunk of the, uh, the delays in terms of logging and the filming. But as I said, the, the, the problem right now in terms of the, uh, of putting up the InstaVlog and doing uh, Beauty and the Geek has more to do with an issue on the editing bay. The editing bay uh, was supposed to uh, have been resolved, but the uh, the upgrade issues came up first. It was a priority over the editing bay. And I should be finishing uh, all the upgrades today, and that means I should be starting, I should be getting back to the editing bay today and uh, doing doing the work on there. I've done some of the work but more needs to be done and once I resolve the issue on the editing bay everything else can sort of start moving forward so that's where everything's backed up. Everything's backed up on the editing bay. <laughs> so uh, but is, is it, 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 it's, it, when you're doing 12 hour days it's rough. It's rough doing 12 hour days between when it's heavy studying uh, and uh, you do end up uh, by the end of the week pretty much exhausted. And the thing is, because you're here by yourself, I'm here by myself. I'm, there's no one, you know. I'm just doing this my on my own. In terms of being my own facility, uh, there's no time off. It's uh, seven days a week, twenty four seven. You know, 20, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's all well. It's twelve seven. It's twelve days a week. Uh, 12, day, 12, 12, 12 hour days, sorry, 12 hour days, and, and it's seven days. But the thing is, even when you go to bed, it's, you're not necessarily clear, but let's give it 12 hours <laughs> instead of being all day long. But, you know, it's always on your mind, you're always at work, and there's no time off. So, uh, so how do I figure out all these other shows that are coming in that I talk about? Well, these all, all these other shows are my recess. They're the, the, the you know the, they're the part that the entertaining part of my day, the recess part of my day. And what happens is that uh, to give an example, uh, some of the configuring work that does that goes on with the, with the system, you have to sit and watch it. Uh, it could take a system like the one that's here, it's a small laptop. It could take it six hours to configure to finish doing all the upgrading. So during that six hours, you've got time to sort of do other things. But the thing is, you can't go off and do something off and do entirely different. You have to sit and watch the system just in case something goes wrong. So uh, you have to figure out what you're going to do with that time while you're right there. And so this is where I figured out how to do my recess in, during, these, during these periods. Uh, and the recess is something that I can film. And I'm going to make the uh, shows, the, uh, uh, and this is what I'm saying, this is part of gaming RL, is you make it entertaining, you, you, it's part of your game. Uh, it's like playing at a game or something like that. Like you're playing Office, you're playing TV studio. Uh, that's what this is. And so you turn your recess into a playing game type of game where you can play store, you can play TV studio, you can play music studio. And during the six hours, you have time to do that. Anyways, uh, we are getting near the end of our time, and it is time to say goodbye. And I, I will either see you in the next segment, which will be part of the next BTS vlog, uh, which will, have, will probably be Saturday. See, Saturday starts, we're Friday already, and so it's either going to be tonight is going to be the uh, farewell, or tomorrow, or tonight is either going to be the farewell vlog, for this BTS vlog in terms of, in terms of the, the series of days. Or it's going to be the welcome vlog to start the weekend. We'll see how that works out. Anyways, take it easy. Bye. Alrighty, 
this is the last segment for the BTS vlogs for uh, the uh, 4th to the 7th of March. So I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is 18 hours and 6 minutes into the day of Friday, March 7th, 2014. And we're vlogging from the research desk. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm still up. I still have more work to do. I'm not going to be finished till at least 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, it's going to be a very rough day f for me, you guys. It's going to be very long. Uh, I got everything back working again. Everything's, everything's sort of more or less organized. So I know where I'm going with things. That's why I know what, what segment of the vlog this is. Uh, I was a little bit behind. I was a little bit behind on... Uh, on... Uh, <laughs> My uploading, but see the uh, the uploading the part the part of the, the part, part of the problem with the uploading is it took four hours today to get the the vlog up. It usually takes two hours to get the vlog up, but it took the whole four hours today because there was something wrong with the uh, uh, network outside of my own reach, and it kind of slowed everything down. Uh, now, if you notice in the title there, there's some Greek words up there. And I wanted to sort of uh, extend this to the, to the Greek because the 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 uh, vlog pass that I'm doing is 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 a Greek. It's, it's something that the Greeks know about, uh, and so do uh, most of the Eastern pe uh, people in East Eastern Christianity. Uh, and so I had to figure out a, the Greek term for uh, vlog. Well, I took the um, the uh, literal word out of it. The Greek B, the beta, the beta is actually a vita, so then then so it's, it's vita loia. So I've got to spell it down there. The, and, and if you see the G Y in terms of how to pronounce it, the G Y, the G Y is lo 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 loia, right? Yia. So it's basically a G before the Y, and it runs into it. Um, so it's uh, vita. Loia Pasca. That's the uh, the um, the title. That's Vlog Pass. That's the way we, the way we translate it into Greek. And so, last one I just did is up now. It's uh, from the first to the fourth. Uh, the first to the fourth. Now we're doing. Uh, I think it's from the fourth to the uh, seventh. Uh, uh, vlog pass. That's 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 the uh, uh, v loy. Ugh. This is how, what happens when tired? Everything just sort of stops. But uh, I, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, the Greek stuff. As for the Beauty and the Geek, I'm working on some new stuff for the Beauty and the Greek. I'm working on the uh, the closet and the design area. Doing more work in in uh, writing up the the, the uh, ske schedule, the work, the uh, production schedule, the produ production notes for tomorrow. Hopefully, I should get everything into the studio tomorrow. Get it filmed and into the editing bay for Monday. Let's hope it, that's that's the, that's the goal. As for the kitchen diner, the kitchen, di kitchen diner is still the construction work is still going on in there. We're still doing the upgrades. Still moving things forward. And as for the electronics bench, we'll take you over to the electronics bench right now and show you what's going on. Uh, still working on the systems here. This system is done. And this is going to be the main system for the electronics bench. Everything else is going to sort of run off of that. This system here, which is which was being upgraded, uh, it's all done. The last tests were done. It was just reconfigured. Um... Just actually a, a couple minutes ago, what had happened is that I had problems uh, with the system, and I had to run a number of tests to test out different configurations. And this is the last configuration that, that worked so far. Uh, each configuration got better and better, but uh, what ended up happening is that uh, I was trying to sort of figure out uh, because one of the issues that was in here. Uh, let me turn these lights on here so we can get better. Uh, Lighting, because I remember that was the problem last time. I didn't have enough good enough lighting. The issue is, is that 
there are hackers, and as hackers try to get get into your system on Linux, they leave some. Uh, it, they put in there something known as rootkits, and a rootkit is, is, is what it sounds like. It's, it's basically. Whoa! Here we go. There we go. It's the hacker's way of getting into your system. But there's also a way with Linux because you can drop down the command line where you can find these things. And that's what I've been learning about uh, these last uh, couple of days. I've been running the test to uh, learn about uh, network security, to learn about uh, hacking, so that if someone tries to hack my system, I can try to sort of prevent it and uh, work my way around it. So it, it is going well enough. It should be back on the. Uh, Oh, that one didn't come off. That's an, that's actually a, 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 an older refurbished system. The one that came off the uh, the, the network up in uh, up in the back room there. Uh, that's going to be coming back onto the bench later, and it's going to be used to uh, look at more of uh, 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 the sort of uh, look at Linux on the command line. Look at sort of getting into the nitty gritty of Linux uh, in terms of its construction, uh, how to run Bash scripts, how to run install scripts. Uh, make packages, all these different things that you do in Linux uh, to make the experience uh, unique. So, uh, but anyways, I think that's it for now. I'm starting to uh, starting to drift off. It's it's difficult to finish here. So I'll leave it here, and I will talk to you. I'll see you uh, tomorrow morning for. Uh, the next BTS vlog, the next segment, not the next segment, the next series, which would be over the weekend, would be the weekend BTS vlog. Anyways, bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.